This week I spoke to Professor, no, Dr. Philip Goff, a philosopher and expert on the theory of panpsychism. Panpsychism is the idea that consciousness is a fundamental component of the universe, not evolved biologically in the material realm, i.e. most people, dualistic folks or materialistic folks, believe that consciousness has come from, uh, has come from material. But panpsychism espouses the idea that consciousness was always present. The early panpsychism suggests that consciousness is a fundamental element of all things. It's not suggesting that an electron is conscious, like a little electron with hopes and dreams and desires and fears and stuff like that, but more that it's a form of awareness. And when Dr. Philip said that to me, I was struck by how that correlates to things that I've heard a lot of spiritual teachers say about even a complex form of consciousness like a human being, that our awareness should be simple awareness, not attached to our desire, not attached to our memory, awareness, aware of your body, thinking of your consciousness as space and your body as an object that's dropped into it, your desires, your thoughts, all things that's dropped into your conscious awareness. The more that we identify or experience the awareness rather than attaching to its contents, the more free we can become. If you are attached to your own identity, if you're attached to your own wants and desires, you can never be free. You will be pulled through life on a roller coaster a toboggan ride of your own desires and needs but if you can return to this state of conscious awareness vibrant awareness there is the possibility at least for freedom he says that all components of reality may in some way be conscious and this resolves a lot of long-lasting previously irresolvable philosophical and indeed physical problems we can't ever demonstrate how consciousness emerges. There are neurological models that show how, how you know, intelligence behaves, how the brain behaves, how consciousness appears to behave in certain ways, but no one will ever be able to demonstrate through physical scientific discipline how consciousness happens or what the experience of consciousness is like. I also learned that Galileo in his early theories of for, uh, in establishing the scientific method deliberately extracted the problem of consciousness knowing, knowing even then the prophet and philosopher that he was, that the phenomena of experience would never be able to be understood in materialist terms, that we should confine science to the study of that which can be tested and explained. He mentioned how uh, atheist philosopher Daniel Dennett says there is no such thing as consciousness because consciousness can never be dis observed or studied. The only consciousness you truly know is there is your own consciousness. You know that you are watching this right now on your phone, that you've hovered, you've not swiped up yet. Have you tapped the screen to unmute it so you can hear me or you're just letting it subtitle right by you? What I'm saying is, is that the theory of panpsychism is an interesting one, interesting one because it helps us to navigate some pretty significant hard problems. That's what they call it, the hard problem of consciousness. And also it supports a lot of esoteric, spiritual and mystical ideas about the nature of oneness, i.e. if consciousness has always been present, if consciousness is present in everything, then there is a transcendent reality beyond space and time and the physical world as we understand it that connects all of us. That there is an ultimate truth that we can all aspire to that is truly universal. That there is something accessible to all of us. If we accept this, if we aspire to it, if we experience it individually and collectively through spiritual practice, through prayer and meditation, then we have a chance of real change. Then we have a chance of radically reorganising society rather than superficially shuffling chessboard pieces around on the black and white Masonic grid of our... Uh, what, who's them dudes? Illuminati. The Illuminati grid. So I would say this to you. Check out that episode of Under the Skin where I talk about panpsychism and consider if indeed you want to change yourself, if indeed you want to change the world, think about what is the crucible where all change and all experience is coming from. Awareness itself. Panpsychism could be a theory that changes everything.